Jackson, maybe you would be cool in the meanwhile. Okay, um, in the next 15 minutes, I will talk about you. How about you, in fact, are part of Mark Street, and now your actions and behavior are a reflection of Mr. Medina. Probably you are asking, Anything believe everything. Everything is linked to energy. And you, all of, all of us, as little final users of energy, or at least a huge amount of energy, we are responsible to do it in a very sustainable way. But talking about sustainability, we shouldn't necessarily say we will debate in three dimensions. Um, the first one, the second one, social, and the third one, environment. But thinking about social um, sustainability dimension, we also link with human needs. In the last presentation, we have the opportunity to talk about some of them. What we need as humans is quite simple. We need clear water, fresh air, food. that circumstance, of course, we as humans, since we are growing so fast, our population is hardly old, decided that increasing the amount of people on the city, more than 15% of the expected population are living in the city, we will for sure need challenges to bring food, to make available energy in the city, to bring water and for good air available. So from that point of view, we are responsible for the future to have good policies and behavior that assure to have a future we will say need for the next generation. But at the same time, what will help to support this um, future, sustainable future, is that new technology, new solutions, new concepts must be available. And therefore, we should see new challenges for the economy. Therefore, the economic dimension has also a huge importance. Because, yeah, in the new tech, especially social and new crisis, maybe with the new technology, the new opportunity, the challenge should work as a growing challenge for our people. Well, at least I believe this. I think it's important to have this opportunity and have this experience of, of traveling to Italy. But uh, in fact, when we talk about um, sustainability, the first word that comes to my mind is environment. I'm really sure that everybody here in this room has concerns about global warming, about pollution, about air quality, about carbon dioxide history, about limitation of energy fossil resources. Everything is related to the environment. In fact, this has been the main topic of discussion around the last, let's say, at least 10 years, that has been the real, real driver to create and develop new rules and new policies that at the same time create as consequence some change of behavior on all of us. Now we are much more aware about the, the our resources. Well, at least I believe so, and I have it in my head. As humans, we should start with the simple things. And my recommendation is waste less to look less. And if we have limitations to the resources, and as I said before, energy links everything. So energy is all around. I would like to make a small test with you. Think around you. What needs electricity? Or even that. I, I would suggest that we make a small experiment. How is life without energy? Imagine, of course, already, who would like to go? Okay. Um, 
pattern that you see a user line click here you are at your home and basically straight on TV and you are preparing to do the TV that's on the camera but suddenly you have no privacy you have no TV okay the first thing you do is to check on the window if that is only a problem of yourself or of in the neighborhood and then it will be done so what you do well quite simple to start you light the candle and at the same time you start to think how uncomfortable you are to be on this situation and you start to understand how important things of that are related to the TV and also of the electricity. So, electricity or energy is almost like health. You only need it when you don't have it. Well, fortunately, we have already some technology that allow us to breathe light again. something about. That's why we start to think that about what, what really means energy availability. What does it mean? It means from uh, for ourselves as final users to be responsible, to use it wisely, or to be like a smart because it's really important for us. As well as that talk about our health. We need to take care of ourselves. And the energy deserves our constant use. And, and in fact, when we think about energy, what are the first topics that comes to my mind is about the renewable energy sources. We have windmills, onshore or offshore, hydropower plants, big ones, small ones. We have Solar power plants, the uh, uh, internet type thermal, and these new technologies, and many more that will appear in the next years, because the technology don't stop, will for sure bring the new complexity for the main utilities that are managing the energy system. But on the other hand, on the consumer side, on the user side, let's say, there are new roles to assume. Now the users, as us, may out be from producers, which my consideration as small scale heat and power generation. And for that, that gives you the opportunity to create a new mindset, because they're no longer a, a, a consumer only, but also a producer. But moving on about all these new technologies, there are much more that is in your hands. So when you talk about energy efficiency, at your home, at your workplace, you have always new ideas about to be more efficient. It's not con con consider many things like saving the land or turn off some, some appliances or to have more aware about the equipment uh, that, that, that you need in your building and so on. But in fact, energy efficiency does, is much more related to us than to technology. And, of course, the new technologies like the electric car that's over there, and we have some uh, in the store out, outside, they are arriving. And they are arriving to stay. And part of you decides how to embrace this new technology. But the fact is, by itself, the electric car will be there to stop being mobile to stay a human being. Because they are quieter, they are cleaner, and they are much more efficient. From that point of view, this is quite, quite a good example. But also, when you have an electric car, it's not only a consumer of energy, but also a place where you can store energy. 
enable artillery energy to be able to support Greece to simply need some additional energy. Or at the same time, they get brought additional en energy that can come from these NF renewable, renewable energy resources. So you at least ha have a, ge a huge amount of that investment. But at the end, what is better here is, is that all these technologies like renewable power plants, the energy efficiency, building intelligence buildings, electric cars, micro generators, and so on, they must work all together. And then again, bring the concept of smart cities. New technology enable us to solve these problems. It is the smart grid that somehow turns the concept of the hard wire of that gives energy from the big power plant to our houses that is no longer feasible to maintain the, the stability of the grid. And I'm so at least you have heard in the last in the last week simulation that we have done here of a blackout. This is quite common and unfortunate. Last week in uh, Chile, 9 million people have been without power for about one and a half hour. Two weeks ago in the southwest of the United States, about 5 million people have been without light. And it turns that it takes one and a half days to restore power to all of them. Many other reasons to, for this happen. Sometimes they are due to the grid. Sometimes are due to human error. Sometimes because the new power plant has been introduced. But at the end, it is not a question only of technology. It is also a question of responsibility of all of us to act and use the responsibility to use that new energy. So I believe really that we as buyers and consumers has a role to develop this to become auto producers. And that that makes us prosumers. No longer just a role of users of using, but also of producing. And altogether, if we join this concept of prosumer with the concept of smart grid, then we bring this to a reality that is the new transit seven hundred. That is something that is really in our hands. And that's a new message that I would like to, to let to you all here. That this technology is available, new and new opportunities are and new challenges are in front of us very well, but it's really in our hands to do something, and that is much, much easier. So be a prosumer, be smart, be part of the smart group. At least in your hands, be responsible. Thank you very much.